Alrighty, good morning guys. It's uh, 10 to 5, Friday morning. Just heading out to the boat now to pull the pots. Uh, see how we go. Fingers crossed the whites will start walking in the next few days and uh, we should get some good numbers. So let's get out and get into it. Nice female. Alright, so the proper way to measure these is right on the edge of the shell between the horns yep. to the back of the carapace. Lock that in there. Size. That's easy size. If that had gone over the back, she'd be under. under. Yep. So. Perfect. Easy. Beautiful. Tear the middle flap off. Put him in your bucket. Ow. Stop kicking. Boarding, yeah. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty. So we've got a couple of crays here. I'm going to show you guys how to sex the crays. So on their back legs, right here and on this crab is going to play nicely you'll notice the difference oh he doesn't like being on his back so between the two crays this one here has much larger little nodules because that's a mate and that's his two penises or <laughs> so you got two penises for the male and the female obviously doesn't have any at all and the female will have when they're getting ready the female will have these little extra um, egg carrying nodules under the swimmers these little bad boys here whereas the male obviously doesn't carry eggs so he's just got the swimmers so the easiest way to tell is obviously just straight away two cray penises, no cray penises, and the egg carriers. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy, and um, that just helps to make sure they don't keep any female that have a tar spot, which is when they have this, uh, the sperm from the male deposited in their um, shell ready to inseminate their eggs, and of course any sea toast or egg buried females. So just be mindful of that when you're cray fishing, always check that. And uh, always measure your crays, check out their size, and never forget to tear the middle flap out of the tail or put a punch in it so that fisheries can tell that it's an amateur caught crayfish. Alright guys, we'll catch you next time.